Tutorial 57 rectangular pattern. Let's start making a hole to show you how to use the rectangular pattern. Let's use this surface and let's make a hole. Let's make a diameter of, we can keep the diameter to be 10 millimeter and let's just define the positioning. Let's Give it 20 millimeter and and just give it 40 millimeter exit. Now we created our hole. Let's make it up to next. We need to cut only in this part. If you want to cut through both of the parts, you can make up the last you cutting through a hole. If you make a preview, you can see you made a cut through the whole parts. And let's make it up to next. Preview you cutting only in one part. So let's make it up to last. Preview. Okay, and now we have this hole. If you want to create 10 holes through parallel to this edge, it will be taking a long of time. So now let's use the rectangular pattern, do this job. The rectangular pattern found here in this icon under the transformation feature menu or from insert transformation feature rectangular pattern. And now let's activate the rectangular pattern. And for the pattern, you need direction and you need the feature which to pattern. For example, here you have the dimensioning and spacing and how many instances. Let's say we need five. And let's give a spacing of 20 millimeter. And here, object to pattern is the hole. It's choose if it is not. You, if it is not selected, you can select it from the features. And here is the reference direction. So let's pick this edge. And you can here reverse the direction or click on this. It's easier to use this reverse and if you want to have pattern to skip as you notice there is some points here if you click on the point you're going to skip the and now you click it on the arrow to reverse so this if you click on the point you skip the pattern now you can make it have chance for one more Okay, so we created six holes in this rectangular pattern. So if you want to edit this feature, double click and you can change the number you want, for example, or the spacing. Uh, let's skip. And here for direction 2, you can also make the same pattern on a second direction. Here I'm going to show you we have this edge is not a straight edge. So it's not going to select this. So if we try to reference element and try to pick this edge, it's kind of unavailable. And if you pick on that place, so it give you a pattern on that face, but we don't want to use that face. We just can click cancel here. And I'm going to show you the, the second direction in using this surface. Let's create a hole. Positioning. Two 
many. Many. Like set. And let's make it up to last. Okay. And now let's activate the rectangle pattern. For the first direction, we can pick six spacing six. And the reference element can choose this edge. Reverse. And second direction, we can pick this edge. Let's make the instances to be four. Spacing 20 object to pattern is the whole the reference element this edge so you can see we created the two directional rectangular pattern 